All right, today we're going to talk about the Gretsch Pro Series versus the Electromatic Series on the Gretsch guitars. And let's talk about what makes these two guitars different. Now, first, let's talk about the Gretsch history real fast. Gretsch is a company that's been, uh, that's older than 125 years old. They started out making drums and then went into like banjos and folk instruments until they hit the 50s with the hollow bodies. And the 50s and 60s became a very lucrative time for them with amazing guitar players such as George Harrison, Dwayne Eddy, and of course, Chad Atkins playing their guitars. They became kind of like the famous must have instrument of the time with guitars like the 6120, the White Falcon. They just did so great until the 70s came. In the 70s, that, that kind of era died off and these guitars became kind of out of fashion. The company then closed filing bankruptcy and was acquired by Baldwin Pianos. Now, to skip ahead, because the Baldwin era is kind of an odd era, we'll skip ahead to now. Fred Gretsch III and his wife acquired the company back in the 90s. And then in the early 2000s, they cinched a deal in 2001 with Fender FMIC, Fender Musical Instrument Corporation, to take over distribution, sales, and marketing of the Gretsch guitars, the way it is today. So what did they do? Well, Fender did what was the smartest thing they could do. They went through the history and they went through the recipes of all the Gretsches that were made, and they found the best recipes. And then they took them to two great manufacturers. The Electromatic Series is made in Korea by World Instrument Music Corporation. The Japanese ones are made by a company called Terada. I'm probably saying it right, but phonetically it looks like that when you spell it, Terada. Terada is a Japanese company and they make these pretty much by hand. So when Fender went to these two companies, they gave them pretty much the exact specifications of what they wanted. So let's talk about that for a second. A Pro Series will have pretty much all the right elements in the recipe. Ebony fretboard, a three-ply three maple top, which is thinner and causes more kind of feedback, but also causes that great reverberation on the top that gives that Gretsch, that Gretschy sound. The Electromatic Series will have the five-ply top, like most all hollow bodies, and a rosewood fretboard. The Pro Series will have a real Bigsby, where the Electromatic Series has a licensed. I have played both for many years and I can't really tell a difference. So some of you guys can and some can't. Me, it's just not a big deal to me that they have the Pro or the Pro Series has the original Bigsby. Um, I don't notice a whole lot. Pro Series tend to either have one of three pickups. They either have the uh, TV Jones, the Filtratrons, or they have the DRM and single coils. Where the Electromatics just have pretty much a copy of a Filtratron pickup. It's a very good pickup and saying copy is kind of rude because it is slightly voice different. So it does have its own characteristics instead of just being a kind of knockoff version of this pickup. It's its, its own thing, which is nice. The boat, they both have the traditional Gretsch strap lock buttons. They both have the Gretsch switch tips and knobs that give it that classic look. The Pro Series does, however, have the correct switch. In other words, Gretsch's really did have a tone switch. So what's a tone switch? Well, let's show you. What happens is you have a three-way switch right here. So obviously down is your bridge pickup. Middle is both pickups. And up is neck pickup. So we'll go to bridge pickup. Now the tone switch is the second switch right here. Think of it like a tone knob. All the way forward is off, halfway back is halfway tone, and then all the way back is kind of that muffly kind of warm tone town. Uh, tone, wow, tone, tone. Tone, tone. It's his tone, tone. I don't know. Anyways, okay, so down, we're gonna be halfway. So in the middle, you're off, and then up is full bore, like in other words, taking your tone knob all the way back. So, real quickly, you can play something like I said, we can be in the middle and get something bright. Down, get that kind of softer, smoother tone. And then up, we're gonna definitely get the warmer, smoother, kind of all the way back tone control sound. Now, so that's unique to the Pro Series. The, none of the Electromatics have the tone switch. They actually use a tone control to save cost because the tone switch, he needs two capacitors plus the switch, which makes it about three times the expense of using an actual potentiometer with just one, uh, with one capacitor on it. So. Both have the traditional Gretsch two volume knobs 
and one master. What does that do? Well, it does this. It allows you, let's say we turn on the overdrive and we go to the bridge and we want kind of like a bridge kind of distortion. Right? So what we can do is then go to the neck pickup and we can take that volume knob to the neck pickup and clean it up. Right? So now we got the bridge. Switch it up and clean it up. Now, what happens if the band takes a break or you, uh, you know, just need to put this guitar down for a second and you don't want to try to find the sweet spots back on the amp? That's why they give you the one master control volume to go ahead and turn that off. Both guitars come with that feature, which is nice. Pro Series come with ebony fretboards with only a few, uh, with only a few models coming with rosewood, but they most, mostly come with ebony. The uh, Electromatic comes with rosewood, which is nice. Um, the uh, Electromatics come with open gear tuners, where the Pro Series will come with open gear tuners and of course Spurzels and Grovers, so a little choice there. The Pro Series will come with a bone or tusk nut, where the Electromatic Series only comes with plastic. They both come with the medium jumbo style frets, which is nice. Let's go ahead this way. This particular model is smaller than a normal Gretsch, but this is my own guitar, so that's why I'm using it for the video. course a pro series will come with a very nice matching guitar case now the big deal of course between these two guitars where most people have confusion is electromatic series sit in that seven to eight hundred dollar range while the pro series sit in the twenty two hundred to thirty two hundred dollar range a much steeper price range <laughs> So the question is, are they different enough to justify the price? I don't know if that's the accurate, but they are different enough to justify wanting one over the other. I have owned uh, three or four Pro Series guitars over the last decade or so, and I've owned about two or three of the Electromatics. I love them both and going back and forth between the two, I really get torn, but I always end up back in the Pro Series because there is something to the Gretsch kind of recipe that gives it... There's just something about that tone. Let's check out that, uh, well, let's do a comparison, right? Let's do a tone test. So here's your Gretsch uh, Pro Series. So you can kind of get the idea. The Electromatic Series has a kind of a warmer tone. It is a very pleasing sound. The, definitely the Bigsby works great. Both have a pin bridge, which is nice. Some of the Electromatic Series uh, have um, the pin bridge and some of the Pro Series have the pin bridge with only a few options missing them. Um, so it is really cool that way. The long, hard truth of it is that Gretsch goes to great pains to make the Pro Series be as authentic as possible, where the Electric Matic Series is made to make sure the aesthetics are correct, but maybe not follow all those pieces of the exact recipe exactly. So the question is always, you know, are they worth the difference in price? Well, they definitely are different. So I don't know if that's a value that you could say justifies three times the price, but they are different enough to where you can't say that they are alike. A lot of times when you do the PRS or the Fenders and you stack these in the Epiphones Les Pauls, you have guitars that are very alike. These guitars are very close, but definitely obvious to most people. They sound and play differently, both being quality, but being different. So I can't tell you which one to get, but I can tell you at least that you know now there is a difference in the way they're constructed and the way they sound. All right, guys, thank you for your time. And as always, know your gear.